Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. Welcome to Wildcard Wednesday. My name is Ben Pulowski. I'm our Senior Learning Center trainer here at Geotab. So our topic for today is privacy mode. So this is a feature uh, that has been uh, rolled out to databases recently. Our announcement just went out last week, and it is a way of uh, being able to hide GPS tracking for a vehicle and uh, uh, that trip information will not display in the database. So let's jump in. Uh, here's our agenda for today's presentation, bit of an overview on a uh, privacy mode and then getting a little bit into what's the need for it and what are some use cases. So why, why do we have this? There are a few different ways to use privacy mode that we will get into. You have the option of creating exception rules in the database. There's also an add-in for my GeoTab, as well as an add-in for GeoTab Drive. Finally, we're going to take a look at auditing privacy mode, and I will send you along with some resources. Um, just so you are aware, uh, all of the content for today's webinar is taken from the privacy mode user guide, and uh, you will get a copy of that document as well as a copy of this presentation that I'm showing you right now before the end of the webinar today. So overview, what is privacy mode? Privacy mode is a feature that allows drivers and fleet managers to temporarily hide vehicle tracking in the fleet management application. When privacy mode is enabled, location features that use GPS, such as position, trips, and speed profiles are not displayed in the application. However, features that do not use GPS, like engine and accelerometer data, are displayed in the application. So what we're really doing is we're just hiding information related to uh, position, trips, and speed. Now, you can still see uh, miles driven within the application, and here's a screenshot uh, showing you what that looks like. So over on the right, that demarcates a vehicle that is currently in privacy mode, and then if you look at that screenshot over on the left, that shows you what a trip's history report looks like when privacy mode is enabled. So you can see there at the bottom that second trip is a private trip, uh, we can still see the distance that was driven 77 miles, but we're restricted from seeing any sort of a breadcrumb trail or where they stopped or things like that. Now, as uh, I mentioned on the previous slide, information like accelerometer data and engine data that is still retrievable through the database. Uh, a question that comes up occasionally is what if you have a vehicle that gets in an accident while privacy mode is enabled? Is it possible to retrieve accident data? The answer to that question is yes, provided that uh, permission is granted from both the fleet and from the driver of the vehicle when the accident took place. So what's the need for privacy mode? Uh, well, it's intended for market-specific cases in which the driver requires intervals of privacy, such as using a work vehicle for personal time. Privacy mode should not be used in conjunction with compliance features like hours of service or international fuel tax agreement reporting. Uh, the reason for that is uh, using privacy mode with compliance features will cause jumps in the odometer, and that's not a good thing uh, when you have a DOT inspection or when you're trying to keep track of your IFTA reporting. A couple different use cases for privacy mode that uh, I'm going to demonstrate for you in just a few moments. One use case is that you can enable privacy mode after work hours based off of a rule, or you can enable privacy mode when you have a vehicle entering or exiting a zone, which is also based off of a rule. Uh, now, this is a bit of a change. For those of you who were using privacy mode in the beta period, it was based on a grouping structure, and if a vehicle, for example, entered a zone, it would be assigned to a private group, and that's not the case anymore. We've, we've streamlined the process a little bit, and uh, we'll show you how to create those uh, conditions for a rule momentarily. Now, these are use cases that are automated. You also have the ability to manually uh, turn on or off privacy mode in the database by using one of the two add-ins. So here, uh, these three different ways to use privacy mode. Number one is exception rules, and you can set rule conditions to automatically turn privacy mode on and off. 
for example, if they're driving after hours or if they enter their home zone or whatever conditions you want to come up with for that rule. There's also a My Geotab add-in and a Geotab Drive app add-in. They're actually both the same add-in. The My Geotab add-in puts a button into the database and you can toggle it on or off. Same thing in the Drive app add-in. So one is accessible by an administrator, the other is accessible by a driver. We are now going to jump into the database and I'm gonna show you exactly how this is done. Now again, just as I mentioned, everything that I'm showing you here today is based off of the privacy mode user guide and uh, you will get a copy of that for your own reference. So what I wanna show you first is how to create a custom rule for entering a home zone. So what I would do is I would go to rules and up at the top, I'm going to click this button that says add. And I'm going to name my rule, and I'll call this privacy mode when entering home. Under the conditions, I'm going to go to add zone or zone type. And I can base this rule off of a single zone, or I can base it off of a zone type. So just for now, I'm going to apply this to all home zones. And the event I'm going to use is entering and click add. So I've enter, entering area home. And what I'm gonna do next is go over here into notifications. And when I go into more, I'm going to assign as private or not private. So I choose one or the other. In this instance, I want the vehicle to go into privacy mode when it enters the home zone. So I'm going to select this and then I can choose to put it into private mode or to not put it into private mode or take it out of private mode. So when the vehicle enters a home zone, put the vehicle into private mode and hit save. Here's my rule right down here, privacy mode when entering home. Now that's for turning on privacy mode. I also need to create a second rule to disable privacy mode when the vehicle leaves that zone. And it's the exact same thing, just in reverse. So we'll say, uh, turn off privacy mode, exiting home. I have my conditions. I'll do add zone or zone type. And this will be when they are exiting a home zone. And under notifications, I'm gonna go back to assign as private or not private. And now this is going to be not private mode and click add. So again, I need two separate rules. I need one rule that enables privacy mode and I need a second rule that disables privacy mode. When I hit save, this is now going to happen automatically. And I'll show you what that looks like. So we saw that screenshot earlier, uh, but if, for example, I were to come in here to my trips history, and we'll take a look at, we'll take a look at today. So you can see here, we have this, uh, this private trip that was in here. We can see the distance of this trip was one mile. I have no option to pull this up on the breadcrumb trail. If I click it, nothing happens. And even if I go to the subsequent trip, you can see it just sort of picks up right here. It starts right in the middle uh, when the vehicle exited that zone. So that is how that appears. And then you can see over here, you have this uh, these little privacy mode uh, icons. So private trip, or it shows uh, the vehicle and that no sign. So that's one example uh, of, of how you could use privacy mode is basing it off of entering or exiting zones. I used a home zone. You can use, of course, uh, any other type of zone that you want. Another practical application for privacy mode is if a vehicle is driving after work hours. Now, work hours are found under activity in your database. And you have work hours and then work hours again. And you can have all sorts of different sets 
of, uh, of work hours here. For the time being, I'm gonna base this off of my standard work hours. So I can come in here and I can verify what these are set to, which is 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Now, I wanna make sure that these are accurate and that these are uh, correct before I start building any rules off of this. So it's knowing that any time the vehicle is driven outside of these hours, I'm not going to get trip data. Same thing as before, I would go into my rules and I'm going to go to add. So privacy mode on after hours and then I can go to my conditions. Now, just like before, you can, uh, uh, you can build the conditions manually and add these in here. But within the privacy mode user guide, which I've mentioned, you actually have the code right here and you can take it and just paste it right in. And that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna copy this and hit my advanced conditions editor and paste this right in. Ignition is true and after rule work hours, standard hours, under notifications, assign is private, and that's that. And then of course, uh, again, just like with the uh, zone rule, you would repeat it and you would have a second rule that disables privacy mode when the vehicle is driving during work hours. And you have this in the uh, privacy mode user guide here as well. Same thing as before, uh, double check your standard hours and you would take this rule logic right here uh, and you would copy it right into the database. And then just as before, not private mode. So you have one that turns it on, one that turns it off. And of course you can do that for uh, any other set of rule conditions that you like, whether you're basing it off of ignition or again with a zone or any other way that you would use a custom rule. Now I mentioned that we also have a, a marketplace add-in. And the add-in allows you to enable privacy mode manually through the database and through the GeoTab Drive app. This add-in is completely free. It is downloadable from our marketplace. Uh, what you would need to do is, while you're logged in to your database, navigate to Marketplace. And I'm just gonna search here, and I'm gonna search for privacy and it's gonna bring up the privacy mode add-in. I already have it installed in the database, but what would happen is there would be a button that would say install now, you would agree to the EULA, hit accept, and then it's just gonna add it into your database. So that's all you have to do. Now once the uh, add-in has been installed, you can access it, number one, through your vehicles list. So if I go to my vehicles list and I select a vehicle, with the add-in installed, I now have a button right up here at the top that says privacy mode. When I click on that, it gives me the option to toggle privacy mode on or off. And once I make a selection and say I turn privacy mode on here, the toggle buttons are going to disappear, as you see right here. I no longer have on or off. What you have to do to reverse your selection is you would have to go back up here to privacy mode, and that's gonna bring these buttons back up again. Uh, you don't need to save your changes. They're applied automatically as soon as you click privacy mode on or privacy mode off, and there you go. Uh, the other option that you have is through GeoTab Drive. So here I am, uh, I am logged into GeoTab Drive and when I put the add-in in my database, it automatically adds it right in here to privacy mode. I can click on this from the dashboard of GeoTab Drive. I have my current status, which is not private, and I can go ahead and change that to private or turn it off again. And that information is going to uh, then update back in the database. It might take a minute or two uh, for it to update one way or the other, but it will update. Something else to keep in mind with privacy mode is that add-ins will override any exception rules that you have in place. So for example, if you had a rule set up to enable privacy mode after work hours, 
and then you were to come in here and turn off privacy mode manually, that would take precedence. Uh, the same with the GeoTab Drive app as well. Uh, and neither one, uh, neither add-in has any superiority over the other. Uh, the My GeoTab add-in and the GeoTab Drive add-in both have equal standing. You can also, back in the database here, you have the ability uh, to audit uh, these different privacy changes. So I can come back here into uh, System and I can go to my audit log. And from my audit log, you can see I have right here, first one is add trip type change. And that's exactly what you can search for in the audit types. When you have add trip type change, when you have uh, that going to private, that means that private mode has been enabled. When you have it type unknown, that means privacy mode has been disabled. Uh, so pretty straightforward feature. Uh, again, you can use it for your rules. You can use the free add-in and uh, it's just going to mask uh, GPS tracking of vehicles. Uh, so thanks again to everyone for taking some time out of your day. We really appreciate it and I uh, hope everyone has a great day and a fantastic week. Thanks everyone.